Before starting any work, we always take name of Allah Almighty. Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Let's revise Surah Ikhlas. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Kulhu Allah wa ad Allah samad lam jalik wa lam julak wa lam jakullahu kufuban ahad. Before starting any work, we revise one dua on the daily basis and that dua is Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Rabbi Zidni Ilma, O oh my Lord, advance me in knowledge. So whenever you start your work with this dua, then you get profitable knowledge. Today's nature is rainbow. Today's nature is rainbow. After rain, you can see rainbow in the sky it has different colors and it looks very beautiful so today's nature is rainbow it is time to revise moral lesson and today's moral lesson is never tell a lie what does it mean iska matlab hai ki hame kabhi bhi chhoot nahi bolna chahiye hame apne parents teachers apne friends kisi se bhi chhoot nahi bolna chahiye because it is a bad habit ye ek buri aadat hai our holy prophet peace be upon him has forbidden us to tell a lie nabi pak sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam ne bhi hame chhoot bolne se mana kiya hai so you promise that you people will never tell a lie it is time to revise concept and today's concept is full and empty today's concept is full and empty there are two jars in front of you one is full and second one is empty so concept is full and empty my dear students it is time to do some interesting math activities from our math workbook numbers here seven has been written and here is nine what comes between seven and nine hmm eight make appropriate bali and write like this and the next one is what comes between 10 and 12 one on 11 one one 11 now the third one is what comes between 8 and 10 8 and 10 ke darmiyan kya aata hai 9 what comes 9 very good what comes between 15 and 17 1 6 16 1 6 16 in the same way you have to attempt all these and you will do it properly and nicely our next activity is count and write next activity is count and write have a look how many bows are there let's count them one two three where we have to write three in this box three very good now look at next image let's count them one two three four how many bows are there four there are many ways to count the objects you can place your pencil and you can place the tip of the pencil on the object and you can count now let's count these one two three four five Now come towards next one. How many dices are there? One, two. In the same manner, you have to attempt all nicely and neatly. And the next one activity is color the tall object in each group. Her group may jo taller one object hai, hum usko color karna hai. Let's start our coloring. Color in this way. And color in a proper and nice way. Now the next one activity is count and write. And the same activity we have done. Let's 
start counting the cats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. How many cats are there? One, three, thirteen. In the same way, you have to do this and neatly and nicely. It is time to count the shapes. Let's start counting squares. One, two, three. One, two, three. How many squares are there on this page? Three. In front of this, we have to write three. We have to write three.